Hi Virgo, welcome to your mid-December 2020 general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back guys. Thank you for all the love and support that you show me. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you gain the insight and clarity that you seek in regards to your love life by watching this message. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Virgo. This will not resonate with every Virgo that watches this reading. Also, because this reading is general, not every message in this reading may be for you. Please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear that message. If this reading is not for you, Virgo, I suggest checking your other signs in different placements. Hi, Cross Watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Virgo. Who wouldn't be? I want to remind Virgo and cross watchers that energy is fluid. Therefore, you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where the roles are flipped and reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if you feel necessary. Finally, before I get into the reading, I want to quickly remind everyone that I am not providing personal readings at this time. However, I'm holding a monthly contest where I select one lucky subscriber to win a free 30-minute reading with me. If you're interested in entering the contest, open up the description box and you'll find the rules of entry there. All right, Virgo, let's get started. Okay, Virgo, um, the first thing I saw was an arrow. Don't know if you're dealing with a Sagittarius or you have Sagittarius in your chart just because of the archer and everything, but it looked like it was heading towards a target and I heard the target was you, Virgo. I don't know if someone's gonna make a move towards you, someone's gonna send a message your way, but you are the target of their mind's eye. Could be Cupid's arrow, who knows, but I do feel someone's definitely going to make a move here or wants to. Then I heard mirror selfie. Don't know if you've been taking mirror selfies. I kind of picked up on selfies in Aquarius' reading, um, but different. It's like, I don't know, someone posing in the mirror, sending it to someone or just posting it on your social media. That could be for someone as well. Um, that's all I really heard. <laughs> So I don't feel like someone's revealing too much. I'm kind of picking up on someone being a little bit shy, but someone thinks that shyness is kind of sweet. It's kind of sexy. It's kind of charming in a way. I don't know. Let's go ahead and see what the cards have to say. So I'm tuning into an energy that's in or around your energetic field that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you. Oh yes, Aquarius. Er Virgo, excuse me. Someone could have an Aquarius placement here. Um, but yeah, there is manifestation here. No kidding that someone has you on site. Someone wants to make moves towards you, action towards you. Someone's manifesting you. My goodness, they definitely have plans. Ooh, nice wheel of fortune. I knew I picked up on Sagittarius energy there. Oh, you're the shy one, Virgo, for some of you, <laughs> I gotta say. And not so much shy, but you're not like, you don't disclose too much about you in your personal life. You like to keep things a bit, you know, short until you can really trust someone, and there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Virgo. We have the hanged man. In the background energy so this is Pisces energy some of you could be dealing with a Pisces you got a Pisces in your chart things have been a bit stagnant but 
I feel that someone is just trying to work another angle to get your attention or to make their presence known to you in some way. Because Virgo, I feel as if a lot of you want to remain single for now or are just kind of single and happy about it. I don't feel that there's anyone yet that it's like, okay, I'm definitely thinking of committing to this person, but you definitely have interest. And you could see it maybe going somewhere, but until then you're going to be sitting pretty, or I guess hanging pretty, um, until it kind of strikes your fancy. But this person's determined, Virgo, to get your attention, to make moves towards you, and I feel as if they already have. Maybe they did it in a pretty aggressive way, or not aggressive, but just, you know, very clear. But it, it's just, you're not just going to give it up all like that, that easily. You want to see more. You're not just about the passion. Anyone can have passion for someone. Anyone can be attracted to someone, but you want a more meaningful connection. You want someone that's real. I also feel with this hangman that there, there could be like other responsibilities you have in your life. I'm hearing something about a child. So some of you could be like a single parent um, raising a child or having like work on your mind, a couple jobs, looking to find a job. Something that's kind of been distracting you from really putting your all out there. It could be this other person as well, but um, someone wants to be your main attraction, let's just say. And they are definitely hooked on you, Virgo. But are you hooked on them? Is this something that you want as badly as they do? Someone could be extremely tall, I'm picking up on. Or a lot taller than you, or you're a lot taller than them. Definitely a height difference. But they're just trying to strategize on how to have you to themselves, Virgo. Because how they feel about you, Three of Wands energy, Aries energy. They, I mean, some of you may have already hooked up, or some of you may have already, you know, have had some fun together, but... It's something they feel much more than that. So what I'm really drawn to here is that you see those two red ribbons tied around these people's calves, and then there's a red ribbon here, okay, in the judgment card. So there is some significance in this connection, Virgo. And specifically, they feel like they've met their match with you. There's no one else that has caught their attention like you, Virgo. So they're going for it. They want to make actions. They want to have plans. They love when you spend time together. Spend the night together is what I'm hearing. Even though it doesn't happen too often. I feel as if you guys go on like walks together for some of you. And there's like a specific kiss on a walk that you had. Maybe it's hiking I'm picking up perhaps for some. Um, but it was at night outside and they've always remembered that kiss i don't know who that's for but they definitely have plans and actions to manifest you absolutely there's a lot of passion here for you virgo what they think about you is the wheel of fortune sagittarius energy so what I feel with this is that they think they've, they've been really lucky to come across someone like you and even more lucky that there's a chance at getting with you. And they see that this could really expand. They think that this can really go outside of where it's at currently. Not that they're unhappy with it, but they know that it could go so much further should you be willing to open up a bit. And again, could be vice versa. I have the need to say that. Um, also, Virgo, I get this energy. They met you in a time where it was kind of dark for them. I don't know if they got out of a relationship. They lost some money, lost a job. There's something where they weren't feeling 100% in their life outside of you. And then you guys met and it was like the stroke of luck they needed. Also, it could just be that they've been through a few duds, you know, a few duds of relationships where they really think it's going to go somewhere and then, you know, it's not really happening, not really their type, 
just not unfolding and maybe this is you Virgo but now that you guys met this is something that I can see committing to I could be a part of I just feel a lot of excitement excitement when you text excitement when you call they also think that there's just ups and downs in this connection here sometimes too depending on what you're who's ever getting distracted with something they definitely get a bit sad when it's during those down times whether they express it to you or not but what they like the most about you, Virgo, Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. This is the shyness I was picking up on. So if some of you say you're shy or a bit shy, they think it's cute and sweet. Others of you where it's not so much you're shy, but you definitely don't put everything out there um, when you first meet someone. I don't know. They, they find that attractive. They find it attractive that you want something where it's going to be solid, where it's going to make you feel secure. You're not looking just to have a fun time only. You've been through those, I feel. Um, you've been through those enough. Let me clarify this for Pentacles. Some of you know how to save money. <laughs> Um, I don't know why I'm picking up on that. Like, Four of Pentacles. Why is this what they like the most about Virgo? Two of Swords. Libra Energy. And Five of Wands. Oh. Okay, interesting. So, Virgo, this is kind of what I feel about this for some of you. You don't entertain just anyone. You are pretty particular and pretty picky about who you like. And with all the people or all the, any attention that comes your way, you're just not going to flirt with everyone. You're not like, and maybe this is a change that you went through. Maybe in the past you definitely used to flirt a lot more, but you realized that's kind of what attracted the duds. So you're like, okay, let me reserve myself. Let me preserve myself. Um, you don't entertain any exes either. What's in the past is in the past. Ten of swords, Gemini energy, Leo energy, um, and of course Libra. But you pay no mind to people who are going to waste your time, right? You pay no mind to people who are going to ruin your stability, ruin your balance within yourself. And you're not afraid to block people out of your life that need to be. And this person, in a way, just kind of, I don't know if you've told them about these instances or they just see that, like, you don't entertain just anyone that has an attraction towards you. And you're quick to end things that aren't serving you. It's a turn on. Definitely. So now I'm hearing white tank top. Could be a message for someone. But what they don't like about you is page of pentacles. So earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um... I gotta be honest, for someone out here, probably only a few of you, um, they're definitely thinking they're the ones that always have to pay for food for when you guys go out, and that kind of bothers them in some way. Don't know who that's for, obviously not for everyone. But others of you, it's kind of like they feel, is there a lack of interest, a lack of desire that you feel for them? Because they feel like they have to pull out all the stops to impress you. But it's still like, you're not the one fully opening up yet. You know, you know how to get them going. You know how to turn them on. But they don't know exactly how to turn you on yet or they have some sort of feeling if there's a lack that they're doing that isn't getting you going as much as you get them going. You know what I mean? There's a time when you guys split a bottle. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> But yeah, it's just a worry of desire, a worry if you have the same interest. That's really what it is. Because believe me, Virgo, they have it for you. Sorry if you hear my puppy barking as well. <laughs> what they like the most about the connection, Nine of Wands. So Sagittarius energy. Again, for some of you, this is correlating when I was saying earlier that you know, you're pretty selective of who you want and 
you're not the one to talk to multiple people at once or entertain multiple people at once. Um, you're pretty like protective of yourself. But I also feel with this Nine of Wands, like they like the challenge, Virgo. They like the challenge of getting to know you, opening you up. And it, it comes in like a way where it's like, what else can I find out about Virgo? What else? Uh, they want to spend more time to get to know more about you, but they don't feel like, you know, you're hiding much. It's just when are you going to open up? But again, they kind of find you mysterious in that way. I usually don't get that with like Four of Pentacles and Nine of Wands, but with all this protection, especially with the positive aspects of this reading, they do definitely find you a bit mysterious. And there's like definitely something where you guys sit on their lap or they sit on your lap. It's like your thing kind of when you're at home chilling. What they don't like about the connection right now, the Hierophant. So this is Taurus energy and for me as a reader, Capricorn energy. I just heard going too slow. So again, Virgo, you may be taking your time or you may want things very traditionally or you're not just going to open yourself up to just anyone. They have to pass some tests, you know, get on your page. You have to make, feel like they're on the same, they have the same mindset or beliefs really as you do about dating and about love and about romance. That they don't get distracted by even anyone that comes along their way that flirts with them or sends them a little look or anything like that. Um, they also just want to already have something solidified between the two of you or maybe that's what you want Virgo, I don't know. But someone is just annoyed that there's not a commitment yet. I just heard um, nice lips too. Someone could have very nice lips. Male or female, doesn't matter. Highest hopes for this connection, judgment. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. That the fine, uh, I said Cupid, right? That is definitely Cupid up there. So I do feel there's some sort of divine intervention here between the two of you that led you guys to each other. Um, but it's like finally you guys coming into agreement that there's something here, that there's a connection here, and that both of you are on the same page about taking it to the next level. Even if there is a child involved, um, I don't know, like they don't mind that. Whoever needs to hear that, they don't mind that someone has a child. And someone's kind of worried if that is going to be an issue and it's not. Deepest fears, page of cups. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Um, really that it's just a fantasy, that it's just daydreaming that it's never really going to happen between the two of you. That's someone's fear here. Um, I'm also feeling for those of you where there's a baby daddy or a baby mama involved, that there's jealousy from that. But really that is just all a fantasy, that it's never really going to ever get grounded or come into the 3D, but it's just always a thought and you're always a thought in their mind. It's a bit like, you know, with the Page of Cups, a fear of being disappointed emotionally, whether that's you or the other person. Because maybe again, someone's been through a lot of emotional disappointments when it came to people that they really thought was gonna be down for them like that. For the likely outcome of this situation, Virgo, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. But before we go, I'm going to go ahead and pull a Romance Angels card. And I'm going to ask Spirit if there's anything you need to know about how this person feels for you. <laughs> Weird how it landed like that. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So someone really wants you to trust them, Virgo, and that's a huge issue in the connection, but passion, ooh, Virgo, like I said, they have a ton of passion for you. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You feel it too. 
But again, it's like, is it safe to love? Can I open up? And I don't want to be hurt again. I don't want to be disappointed, betrayed again. Disappointment's really what's on someone's mind. But they don't want you to feel that way. Again, there's that damn Cupid right there, right? <laughs> there's some sort of reason why you guys met, especially with judgment. But we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. So if you'd like to join me there, I'm going to overturn this card and I'm going to pull some oracle cards for you guys to add to that outcome. If you'd like to join me, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo there. But if this is where we depart, Virgo, I hope that this resonated with you and you gained some insight and clarity in regards to what may be going on in your love life. If you did, please let me know. Drop a comment below. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Virgo, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Virgo.